Well, as we approach warmer temperatures again later in the week, are you ready for that summer road trip? Our auto man says if you don't get your belts checked, you could be left on the side of the road. But as always, Brian Bowersock of West Escondido Auto is here to help. Brian, good morning. Good morning. Good Great to see, to see you, again. you again. All right. So for people that are not auto literate, what is a belt? Well, we have an example of a serpentine belt right here. Um, actually, what a belt does pretty much is run all the accessories on the motor your air conditioning, which is very important in the summer, mm -hmm. um, the water pump, the alternator, the fan on a lot of cars. So every, everything that's important that drives off the crankshaft of the motor on the external of the motor um, is run by, typically on most cars, one serpentine belt now. Which is different than the way it used to be in old cars, right? Correct. Um, older cars used to have uh, two or three belts, sometimes four belts running, each belt running a different um, external component on the motor. Um, in later years, as we got in the late 80s, starting into the 90s, it became very common for a manufacturer just to run one single long belt to run everything. And so this is basically the key to making everything work on your car, but it's very possible for there to be some problems with this sort of belt, right? Correct. Um, belts are made obviously out of rubber um, and a weave. Um, they're pretty strong. They last a long time, a lot longer than they used to, but they still do wear out. Um, they're subject to high heat and temperature. Um, you know, they're always working whenever the car is running, something that people often forget about a lot and they start to deteriorate over time. How long do they last usually? Usually we recommend to check belts on a regular basis just to make sure how they're doing, but usually five years, 60,000 miles around that period, um, a belt is gonna start to wear out, either come apart or crack or something like that. Right, and so, okay, so every six months, head to a facility like yours and get it checked out. Some of the things that you're going to look for, though, are here are some of the problems. Correct, we have, we have some examples here. Uh, some of the things that are common, rib cracking on a belt that starts to get old, dry out, deteriorate, is often really common. Um, this is actually called chunk out, where pieces start to come out. And usually that's after rib cracking. The belt deteriorates even more, it comes apart. Um, what they call pilling is where pieces come apart and get stuck in the center grooves of them. Just another example of coming apart. There's uh, an example of a belt that's been uh, deteriorated from getting sand and gravel in it. A vehicle that's off-road sometimes, dusty conditions, will have that problem. Uh, fluid contamination, which anytime you get a fluid leak on a belt, it's rubber. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. It deteriorates it. And uneven rib wear and misalignment and rib separation, where the belt actually starts to come apart and separate and pieces fly off of it. All right, so get your belts checked. Other key things to think about with the hotter weather to check out in your car. Cooling system, obviously the a AC, because it's going to get hot. You know, young children, older folks really need the AC. Um, and all the fluids and stuff, very important things to have checked um, as we're going into summer. The uh, last thing you want to be done is broke down on the side of the road or cause damage to your vehicle. Exactly, and as always, you can head to Wes Escondido Auto to get it checked out. Absolutely. Brian, thanks so much for being here. Glad for to more be here. information or for any questions, you go to our website, sandiego6.com, and click on Hot Topics. Well,